Ahoy ahoy! So I just bought my first antique sewing machine and I think someone put it in the dryer. <laughs> no, no, this is this is a toy sewing machine. It at one point and hopefully still is a fully functional chain stitch machine. Let's get aside there. It's this weird little flat boy. So this one was made by the Mueller company. It's hard to find information on them, but I believe this is a Model Zero, which was made in the 19-teens and 1920s. There are a few companies that made them. The Singer So Handy is the one that you will find most often, but I wanted this one because even though it's pretty scuffed up there, I love that filigree and that design on it. And I wanted a pretty one because I'm not sure if it's gonna work. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, all the parts, they move, they move pretty freely, but they're, they're tight. They're tight, which is not surprising because as you can see, there's, there's some rust and it has not been oiled. So we're gonna get a closer look at this. And then I'm going to get it lubed up and see if it will work at all. And if not, I am perfectly happy with this being a lovely little bookshelf curio. And I don't know, I don't know anyone else who has a very small sewing machine on their bookcase, but I will. <laughs> Let's get sewing. Alright, so everything seems to be moving freely. I'm gonna get some oil on this because it was a little tight and jumpy. Oh, there's my cat. Hello. She thinks this machine is for her because it's the perfect size. Anyway, um, what I was saying, I do have a few non-mechanical concerns, even if this is mechanically sound that might impede its functionality. The first being, first thing is this tiny, adorable spool of thread. As you can see, it's very small. It's held in place with this spring. So I think that means that it needs to be spools in this size family. I'm not sure if that's something I'm gonna be able to work with. The other little concern, my phone get close enough, yes, is this needle, this company is impossible to find information on, so I am not expecting to ever be able to find another needle for it. Also, this little screw feels kinda kinda frozen, but I'm gonna see, oh my God, there's my cat again. But yeah, I'm going to see what I can get out of it. And again, if this is nothing more than a really unique little curio for my bookcase, I am happy with that because I think it is just so charming and lovely. It's on the side again. The rust is also a concern of mine. And then one more little concern I had with the functionality is getting it, because it's so small, getting it stabilized on the work surface. The the Singer ones, they had a, a C-clamp that would clamp the machine on the table, but this one, it doesn't have like a groove or anything where you would put a clamp. And the other, other Mueller ones that I saw were mounted, screwed onto a heavy wooden block, but there are not screw holes in this. So we may have to get creative. So it doesn't look like such a dramatic difference, but I did clean it up a little bit 
used some personal lubricant, and now I'm gonna see if I can get this little thing to sew. If I can do this one-handedly, um, it is, I can't really do it with one hand, but it is uh, moving a little smoother. So, as you can see, some things are trying to happen and some things are not happening. Uh, it's not pushing the fabric forward, it's all... This is a horrible angle. And it's unfocused. It's all just kind of... I know. It's all just... It's all just... bunching up in there. So I think that this is... Just gonna be an interesting curio. <laughs> oh well. So thank you for coming along on this bit of a misadventure in very old sewing machines. Fortunately, or maybe unfortunately, if you're my bank account, this has not put me off of old sewing machines. In fact, because these are uncertain times, I panic bought and I already have a 1925 Singer 99 on the way. That one I'm more hopeful about. If you're not already subscribed, you should be sure to subscribe to check out that video and I will see you in the next one. Bye now.